Hey everyone, welcome to Africa on Stage TV. We are so excited to be standing here with this esteemed gentleman. Yeah, Dr. Sbongiseni Mkize, Chief Executive Officer of the South African State Theatre, the largest theatre complex in Africa, situated in Pretoria, the capital city of South Africa. Let me tell you, where he's going to take us on a wonderful walking tour of the venue. You're going to see some of the really amazing artwork and also some of the theatres. There are, count them, how many theatres in this building? We actually have got uh, six theatres, but five of them are working at the moment. The sixth one, we are uh, uh, using it for training. Uh, we are partnering with the Tswane University of Technology, but actually we've got six theatres. Six theatres in one building. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned, we're going to take you around. In 1999, the theatre was mothballed and then reopened in 2002. And that's when uh, it became a South African state theatre. Uh, there was a new country that has been born, that has been born in 1994. Yes. And then it became a new theatre that had to grapple with a new identity huh. and also with a new management, including a new artistic director. Right, yes. And that's when Aubrey uh, joined the South African state theatre and started bringing a different kind of theatre. Mm -hmm a theatre that talks to the new South Africa, theatre that's challenging, and theatre that's sometimes upsetting. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but I think people were actually engaging with right. this new dispensation through the work uh, that we are, was put at the State Theatre, and I think we are still doing that even now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People come here, yeah, freedom is not something that you just go and see at any other theatre. Yeah. Uh, Marikana, uh, we had crazy last year about yes. uh, the famous incident yes. uh, that involved our former president. Yes. So the State Theatre has always been courageous to stage those kinds of plays. It's challenging, but it's something that I've always been committed uh, to do, even from my own writing as a historian. Yes. Yeah. We are on the yeah, opera side, the largest house. In this theatre complex, it houses 1,360 people at three levels. There is this lower level here, there is the balcony, and then there is the middle level called the mezzanine. That's where we usually accommodate our VIPs and VIPs, whether we've got ministers. Yes. For example, last year we hosted the President yes. of the Republic of South Africa, mm. uh, Mr. Sri Ramaphosa. Uh, when we had a, a performance, a special three night performance by the award winning Lady Smith Black Mambazo. When we say we are a Pan African theatre, people can see it. It's not just us writing it down in our annual reports and, and, and talking about it, but also uh, there is action. We had Fella, and uh, it's been an amazing experience for us. For a long time, people always felt, no, uh, South African musicals or African musicals would not work at the state theatre, uh, the opera theatre is too big yes, and all of yes. that. But I think through freedom, which you saw, yes. that we could actually use the entire oh, theatre, all its depth, all the yes. way up and down. Yes. Uh, you can write a South African musical, a homegrown product, yes. and it can do whatever that could be done anywhere in the world. When you look at the State Theatre, you can see that the building was designed in such a way that this became a prestigious theatre of South Africa. Yes. It's, a, it's a state theatre where we are supposed to, for example, to be hosting presidents, where, or when the president has got visitors, supposed to bring them here to the yes. State Theatre. Yes. So, for example, for those uh, post-inauguration uh, dinners or things right, like that, right. should yes. be here because the way it was designed, uh, when you look at the uh, holding rooms and uh, all of that. It was designed with that in, in mind. mind. Okay. Uh, but I think the only challenge is that I think maybe the architecture of the time it becomes too imposing and people feel like, hey, okay, is it a theater? Is it a space that I can walk in? And yes, yeah, because yes. it's like one of those sort of uh, official government buildings that you see that are so imposing, overwhelming, intimidating. So what we are doing now actually part of transforming the theater whether it's audiences or artistic program, but also looking at the architecture to say, yes. 
Is the architecture warm and welcoming enough? What can we do to just give it some touches in terms of the look and feel so that people feel like this is a, a building that welcomes me? Yeah. When we say we are attracting audiences, we are attracting new ones, but also we need to retain those people who used to come here. That's For why sure. when you look at the, sh the, the, the shows, the combination and the mixture, it tells you that we've got African shows, we've right. got shows in African languages, we, can, we have shows in English, we've got shows that talk to young people, we've got shows that talk to, or that they attract older people. Yes. So it's a very complex, because the state theatre, well, let's say when all our, uh, our, uh, our theatres or our venues are full, yes. it feels like a festival. <laughs> because you can have a comedy, you can have jazz, you can have drama, you can have a musical, you can have a gospel show in one huge building. <laughs> How do we imagine a national theatre now playing a role yes. of being uh, the embodiment of the soul of the nation? Yes. Uh, while we become a theatre that is hard hitting and uh, presenting shows that uh, are, could sometimes be seen as critical of the establishment, how do we also at the same time make our authorities and powers that be understand that we have an important role to play, in, yes. not just in uh, defining the identity of the new nation of South Africa, but also in also critically engaging with the complexities of that nationhood. Since the establishment of this theatre, we've always had restaurants. restaurants yeah, yeah, because it's important also for tenants and also for the members of the public, because some they people in, yes. know the theatre through the FNB part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have sections where we try to keep the history. The history. Uh, yeah, there is all the photographs of when it was the construction. I think the first show that I saw here was uh, Silent Voice. Oh yes, yes. It, it must have been when? 2008? 2008. 2008. Yes, yes, because I, because I remember I was still at the Market Theatre at the yes. time, so and we brought it to the Market Theatre. So those, those are the kinds of yes. shows that made people wake up and, okay, what's well, going we, on? No. What's going <laughs> on at the State Theatre? Yes, yes. But uh, people know us for those kinds of shows. Yes, no, it really mm. sort of shook my mm. world and, yeah. and attached me to mm. the building. Mm. That's why I've been back so many times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm very happy to hear yes. that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So these are just some of the posters mm -hmm. of those shows that we have had here. Yes.